Hello and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop Stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today I'm playing through Gaia Project, my favorite solo game of all time. So I felt like I needed a little redemption. So we did an introduction to the game where I went through a lot of rules, stuff like that. That's not going to be this video. This video is going to be down and dirty gameplay, hopefully going to do a little bit better than I did in that video. And that's why I'm calling it my revenge video. We are playing against the same AI. And this is actually the AI they recommend that you start with. So this is... Hajhala, and I am playing with Firax today. So what is Firax? They're a little bit different um, than my last faction. Um, by the way, this is live streaming, so a couple of things. Number one, we love interaction. Please feel free to chat in all you want. Let me know if I make any rules mistakes. And that's the other thing. If there are rules mistakes when you're watching this back later, uh, hopefully uh, check the Klingon subtitles. If there's any major mistakes, then I'm going to put uh, any... Uh, corrections in there. Uh, so that's about it. Let's get started. If you don't know Gaia Project, it's basically a, I, I say 4x, but it's really more of a 2x. The big thing is the tech track here, and your factions are going to be very, very unique and individual. You're really exploring and exploiting all these planets around you. Um, my faction goes on these planets here, so the darker planets, the black planets. Um, but let's see what the goals are for the game, because that's really a lot of what scoring is about in Gaia Project. Um, so I like to remind myself what colors we are to, and actually that's not me. I'm the gray one. They're over here, just as a reminder, like what's what over here. All right, so let's see the end game scoring goals that we're going for, the most Gaia planets, uh, and the AI, not AI, but the like, if you're playing with two or three players, there's always a like AI number that is part of this scoring. Um, so they only have four of those, and then 10 structures in a federation. That one seems hard to get. Now with the AI, they don't really build federations, so the way they do structures in federation for the AI is they take all the structures they built minus one, so they actually already have one um, when you look at them. All right, let's look at the individual round scoring goals, because this is kind of interesting here. We're, not only do we want a lot of Gaia planets, but they want us to make them at the end of the game. We score a lot for that. So I think I'm going to actually try to go up on the Gaia forming track as much as possible. All right, so this first round, they do want us to build one of those uh, either level four structures or, or um, I don't know. I, I call them actually level three because they're kind of like where you split off after you build that second building. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Then they want you to form a federation turn two. That ain't going to happen. Uh, then for each terraforming step, so maybe I work on terraforming early, uh, although I don't know. I, I mean, again, I'm going for the Gaia planets here. And this time for each of these um, buildings we put on. So let me get the actual name. So those buildings are trading stations. These are research labs and planetary institutes. So first round, I want research labs and planetary institutes. Is that right? Yep. Uh, no, 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 no. I actually want the academies. Holy cow. Well, that's never going to happen. And actually, I promised myself I was going to do better at using cameras today. We'll see if that actually happens. So there's my board. So let's look at the starting positions of the board. I actually think I have a pretty good layout over here because there's a lot of planets out here um, that I can either Gaia form or just straight up take early in the game. So uh, I think I'm going to work on, uh, so I, I'm not on the research track at all. They're a little bit up one of the economy ones, but I think I'm going to work on this QIC one, which I don't necessarily a lot, as well as this one. So actually this will get me a QIC and get me some distance. So I think I'm going to work on this track right away. My special power is kind of interesting with this faction. I've never played with them before, um, but basically what it is, I can take one of these buildings and downgrade it to a trading station and that actually counts when you look at scoring for trading stations here that counts as me building a trading station so i can downgrade one of my trading stations and if i do that or, or downgrade from a research lab to a trading station i can then re-upgrade to research lab again which will let me get another tech again but the other thing is when i go down um i get to go up on one of those tracks so it lets me do some research every time i downgrade my research stations so a little bit of interesting stuff with that. All right, so I do have two research uh, at the beginning. Let's see what options we have here. So I can get another research here. And this will score me points for every one of these uh, research buildings I have, which isn't gonna happen. This will score me for this. Maybe I'll take this. This gets me a little bit of extra power. Uh, and it lets me 
build something a little bit further away. So I am gonna take that. Let's go ahead and, again, I said I was gonna use the cameras better today. I have already failed you. Sorry about that. <laughs> let's see, I don't even know if I have a camera. So let's see where my setup cameras are. I got the board, I got my section, I got the AIs, I got that board, I got this board, and that's it. I don't have a camera over here anyway, so that's not gonna happen. Well, let's go back to one. That'll be the easiest way to do it. All right, so I am gonna take the first turn and let's see what we're doing. So, oh, my starting position. So they started here and here. This one, because it's closest to the middle, it's only three spaces away. Now there are two that were four away and the way I drew it and the way I'm going is from the AI board. So I did top, uh, bottom to top. And as you do bottom to top, you see that this one comes before this one. Thankfully, actually, because there's a lot of Gaia planets over here that I wanna take over. This is the one we're gonna be fighting over, it looks like. Um, but as far as this goes, the reason I um, picked this is because I wanted to be right next to them. Last time I didn't cycle power well enough and I want to do that this time. I mean, I want to go up, really I want to go up the Gaia forming track. I want to show you guys some Gaia forming. I didn't do much of that last time. The game is called Gaia Project, so I should probably do that. But again, if you're looking for in-depth rules explanation, go back to that video. I will link it in the show notes. All right, but let's see. First thing I'm gonna do, I am actually gonna use my special action right here off the very beginning of the game to travel. Oh, wait, wait, let's get income first, shall we? Uh, <laughs> so I get three, uh, three income here, one, two, three. I get nothing from here. I do get two research from here, which is good because I already had two. Uh, everybody does in fact, and that is it. So the nice part, as a reminder, these tell us where our science tracks are basically. So I can't Gaia form right now. I don't get any additional income for these. My range is only one from my planets. It costs me three per Gaia forming step. And this one's just QIC cube or uh, uh, cube. So yeah, I don't have any of those. All right, so I uh, got my income. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, I really wanna go for these Gaia planets before they get them. I got one, two, three range. And I do that with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to extend my range by three. I got this QIC cube. And remember, when building on a Gaia planet, you have to either have a QIC or a Gaia former on that planet. So I'm gonna spend that QIC cube and I still have to pay the cost. So that's gonna be two gold, one, two gold. And it's gonna be one, uh, I wish I remembered the name of it. I got the rule book right here. So let me look that up because I feel kind of dumb or Duh. So, or credits and knowledge are the three things. Uh, did I cycle any power? I didn't cycle any power to start the game. So I have no way of getting um, that right now, but that's okay. All right, so I spent all the stuff, I believe. Yep, because that was at six and my credits were there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and build on this Gaia planet because it is three away from me here. One, two, three. Now it is in the neighborhood of him because it is within two spaces. So technically he would um, get power right now. But again, it's the AI. They don't get power. All right. So that is it for my first action. Let's go to the AI actions. And they draw two. One for the right side over here and one for the left side. So first thing I'm going to do is tick them up on their victory point track because I always forget to do that. Next thing, they're gonna build. They're not gonna look at the goals at all. They're gonna have to be within two and then they're going uh, bottom to top. Um, so let's double check all this stuff. All right, so condition minus supply, uh, empty in range is important. So the tiebreakers, so faction tiebreaker if applicable. Well, there isn't one because they're not doing their faction board. Um, and actually, we should look at their faction board here in a minute. It's the same one we did last time, but I'll remind you guys of what they're doing. Fewest terraforming steps. So again, they're looking for the fewest terraforming steps within two of them. And we'll have to use this card here to remind us. So they're red, so they clearly want that. But then they would want green, blue, or like the Saturn looking planet. So within two steps, here's a Saturn. Uh, no green. There is a blue also. Uh, let's see. There's another Saturn. And that's closer to them. I don't know that that matters though. Um, let's look back at the book again for the AI. All right, so fewest terraforming steps, closest to your planets, that's my planets, and then directional. All right, so let's see which ones are closest to my planets. So you got this one, you got this one, and you got this one. Well, this one's clearly out. This one looks like it's in, but this one is also within two of mine. So we will look at their directional. And again, we're coming from this direction when we do it. 
Uh, let's look at the directional arrow on this. It is going bottom to top and left to right. So as you go bottom to top, boop, 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 it's gonna be right here. All right, so that blue planet gets it. And that is their first action. And it'll get quicker as the game goes along. Um, I'm reminding myself, because I haven't played since we last uh, I last played with you guys. I've been so disgusted with myself. You're better than that, Peter. All right, um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see, is there anything I want? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't have that to spend. I have research to spend. So one, two, three, four, research. Let us do that. So I'm gonna spend four research to move up this track because I really want to get to that two range here. I'm sorry, I am not red. That's gonna throw me off because I think a gray is like a neutral color. Gray is my color. So I do get my QIC back for that and that is gonna be my entire action. Let's see what the, oh yeah, the AI did give their victory point too. Let's see what their next action is gonna be. All right, first things first, they get no victory points. They're gonna go up four over. So they are gonna research as well. One, two, three, four. They saw me research, so they're like, hey, wait a minute. You're not the only one that can research here. We are allowed to research as well. And again, it's a random one. It is not the one they are the highest on. All right, we are done with that AI card. Let's go back to me. All right, I wanna to try to get up to my Planetary Institute for a couple reasons. Number one, there's a scoring for that actually. Oops, there we go. There's a scoring for that in the first round. That's gonna be five victory points, which is a pretty big deal. And the other reason is it is then gonna also allow me to take these research labs and downgrade them. So I'd, and it's gonna cycle power. So there's a lot of good things that come out of that. I'm really gonna try to do that turn one. Uh, so first things first, I gotta spend three and two. One, two, three, and one, two, because I am gonna do it at a planet within range of their stuff. Why not do it here? So I'm gonna start with this, and that gets rid of my mind. Now, fortunately for me, that does not get rid of any income, um, but that is it. That is it for my action. Let's see what the AI is gonna do. The AI, and the reason these three cards, which are their next three cards are face down, just as a reminder for the uh, AI, the way it works, they could at any point, when the card that gets flipped has an X on it, that could be the end of their actions. So the green means they keep going, X means they stop, but it doesn't matter. We weren't in the final three cards, but we are now. Um, so what are they gonna do? All right, they're gonna cover up something four spaces in. Well, I'm already feeling much better about this round than I did about the last round. So they're gonna cover up one, two, three, four spaces in. And I did forget something. Already made a mistake. Nobody caught me. Um, when they built here, I had a level one mine here. That, they were in the neighborhood of me when they built. So I would have cycled one power because of that. So let me get my one power cycled. And yeah, I just remember, whenever they do anything in your range, which is within two of you, you get to do fun stuff. All right, let us go back to my action because they just covered up one of these spots here, which fine with me. Um, and again, I want to build all the way up, so I'm gonna spend six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And oh, I don't have four. So what would I have to do to get more? Um, do, 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 do. Let's see, I could spend my QIC to get more or I could spend three, which I definitely don't have. So I'm gonna use my QIC. That'll give me my fourth. So one, two, three, plus the QIC makes four, and boom, we are upgrading. Up to the top, rise up. All right, so that was my action there. Oh, I also forgot to get my income here. So I would have cycled two power at the beginning of the game. That's one, two. So that maybe changes things. So I could spend three. So I could spend two, I could get two here by discarding two here. That's what I'm gonna do. And then three will get me one ore. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna hold on to that QIC because remember we want Gaia planets. So that is important to me. All right, so I am done with all that. Now I'm gonna start getting power and cycling power every round, which makes me happy. Um. Uh, Yep, and I cycle my power this round. All right, so that was my action. Let's go back to the AI and see if they keep doing stuff. They might just stop right here. No, no, why would they stop? 
they're not going to stop. So the reason these are lit up, because it tells you which of these are important. So they're going to focus on the bottom goal, which in this case is just building more um, planets. So that doesn't matter. Then they're going to focus on this goal within two. And then bottom to top is the tiebreaker. So, and again, least terraforming steps. Well, we've already gone through all this calculus last time, unless it changed from here. No, it did not. So they are going to build on this Saturn looking planet here. And that will give me another power cycling, which makes people happy typically when they get to get power. Because that should be within two, yep, of this mine right here. I am glad I jumped on this early because they definitely would have jumped on this by now because it would have been in range and this one wouldn't have been. So that ended up working out well for me. Uh, let's see what their special powers are, by the way. I never went over the AI. So they, when they get their AI thing, they're going to try to upgrade. And they also get a victory point whenever they do that. If the upgrade action is not possible, take a build action for a mine within range of three. And, uh, and uh, instead, wait, wait, within range of three instead. Sorry. I was looking at this and list. I was like, wait, why does it say three twice? All right. Ongoing ability. After upgrading to a trading station, the Autumn gains three victory points in addition to any other victory points. By the way, I forgot they get three victory points here. So let's just go back through their victory points. They had 10 at the beginning of the game. They're getting three so that's 13 14 and that was it so thankfully that was it i just missed the last turns one and this turns three so they should have 15 at this point ai up to five, 15 and actually i don't need these let's get rid of these they're just confusing and in fact let us move this victory point counter here so it'll be easier to remember and it'll just be closer. So it's in our life site. And then actually upgrading. So they go from here. So the first thing they want to build is that. So let's let's do this in order that they want to upgrade. Look at that. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's Tower of Trading Stations. All right, whatever. Close enough. All right, then they want to go to this, which is what I messed up last time with them. They don't want to upgrade to these next. They want to upgrade to those first. So there you go. There's our fancy layout. Very, very fancy indeed. Um, let me do this. That will. Uh, so toggles. We'll just get rid of the grid. And that way, wherever I put them, they will stay, except apparently not. <laughs> nice. All right. So anyway. Now they won't be locked to the grid. Man, this is like a dexterity game. By the way, if you guys are watching me doing a dexterity game, it's like failing hard here. By the way, I noticed a lot of people in the chat. Please chat in. Let me know what you think of Gaia Project. Have you played it solo yet? Definitely my top solo game, but uh, I know not everybody has had a chance to play it. Um, and even if you have played it, uh, have you played it solo? Have you play played it multiplayer? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, and then also, if you have any questions, let me know that as well. All right, so let's go back, see if there are any actions I want to do. Well, I don't really have any, much power right now, so I'm not going to worry about any of that stuff. I used up my science, so I'm kind of done here, it looks like. So I'm going to pass first, and when you pass, you get to be first player for the next round if you're the first person to pass. Let me pick this up. This will come off, and let's go here. Nope. Here. Nope. 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 One. That's right. I don't have a, a, a camera lock for here. All right. So let's see. What do I want to do? Terraforming step. That's interesting. So what is one away from me? So brown and white are one away from me. We know this one's in right. Oh, this white one is right there. So a free terraforming step would be kind of nice next turn. Ah, here's the other thing I want to pay attention to. What's the scoring? Yeah, that's not going to happen next turn. I'm not going to. Oh, oop, 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 oop. When I built this. I should have gotten five points. That was a miss again on my part. So when I upgrade to the Planetary Institute, that is five victory points for me. Boop, 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 boop. So we are tied at 15. I already feel like I'm doing better than the last game. All right, so I can't pick the one I just put back. So do I want to score for the for these at the end of the round? Do I want to score for this at the end of the round? Or I think free um, Terraform and Although Terraforming is the next one, isn't it? Yeah, so here's the problem. If I take this now, then I can't get free terraforming when I'm there. So do I gamble with this? They don't want that. We're not competing over that planet. You know what? I am going to gamble with it. And I'm going to say heck with it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for some victory points and some ore. And uh, and actually, I'm not really making money. So, huh. 
it was a terrible decision. But remember, for every um, power I spend, I can get a money too. That's down here. So spending a power gets you a money. So we're going to go with that for now. So that was the end of my action. I flip it face down to mark that I am done with my actions. And the AI gets to keep going as long as they want or until they get an X, which they just did. All right. So when they get an X, it is just the end of their round. And they will score victory points according to what this says here. So as a reminder, all of these goals, round goals, have a zero over here, or a, a number over here, which is what they score in the first three rounds, and a number over here is what they score in the next three rounds. So right now they score nothing. And this one, they're gonna score nothing as well, which is good because federations are super hard to build in the second round of the game. Um, certainly not impossible, but very hard to do. All right. So they are not scoring anything, so they are officially done as well. That is my board. I want to go to their board. All right. So we take their cards. We are going to shuffle them all together. Then we're going to take a new card and add it to their deck and shuffle it in. Then we're going to move one, two, three cards. Is that three? Well, there's five there, so this has got to be three, right? Hello. There we go. Three cards. Perfect. But... I am still gonna get to go first next round, yay! All right, so let's remove that from the board and we are done. All right, I do want to get some research. Uh, so we'll see how well this goes. All right, so I already have my special power. I'm gonna get to cycle four. One, two, so you always have to go from bowl one to bowl two first, then three, four. Then I'm gonna get a power. I don't have to do it in that order, but that's the order I chose to do it in. So that way I have two power to see if I could do something either on the board there or over here. Um, so that was cycling of my power. Oops, let's see what income I get here. I get one ore income from here. I got three ore income from here. One, two, three with four gold. I'm not gonna be doing much this turn. Um, I could have all the way up to six or not with the QIC not changing a QIC for sure into that. Um, all right, so it doesn't look like I'm gonna get much research this turn. So for I could get one gold. Oh no, I can't, because I don't have any trading stations. So trading stations look like the goal for me this round, which doesn't matter, they're over here. I'm gonna get four every time I build one there, but not here. But it looks like I still need to do that just to get myself some money. So to make them cheaper, you wanna be in range of them. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do get research income, one, two, three. Sorry, one, two. From here, I get research income. And I think that is it, it is. All right, so I'm gonna spend one, two, three. I'm gonna spend one, two. And I'm gonna to upgrade to a trading station. Which one do I wanna upgrade? Again, I wanna do it within range of them. This is the only planet I have within range of them. So this mine is going down for real. All right, so now to the AI's turn. Uh, see, this card does nothing. This is gonna tell them where they go. All right, so they are gonna build and they are gonna build according to the bottom one, which again, doesn't matter at all because um, their bottom one, as a reminder, is do 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 they want to get the most structures in a federation the ai doesn't have federations though so it's just one less than the number of uh, structures they have on the board and actually we can start keeping track of these gaia uh things and let's go see how many they have on the board one two three four they're about to have a fifth so we will put them at four on this track because it is always one less than the number that they have on the board. All right, let's go ahead and see where they build. Do, 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 do. Well, I think this might be the only option. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, so again, Sat so red is their first choice. Then Saturn planets or blue planets within two of them. And they're gonna, oh, this one is within two. So this is one, two, three away from me. This one is one, two, three, four. Oh, no. This one, within three of me as well. Um, so there is no tiebreaker there. Uh, and they're both within two of them, right? They can build on both of them. Yes, they can. Wait, one, two, three. Oh, this is four away from me. This is four away. So this one's closer. So they're gonna build on this one. Easy enough. That is definitely the most complicated AI action. Um, all right, let's see. They get three victory points for that too. One, two, three. So they've taken the lead, jumped out to a lead. That's all right. I feel like I can uh, make up some ground here, although not on this turn. 
I definitely do not have a whole lot going on. I'd love to build another mine or even another trading station. I mean, I can spend two power to get to do that. And it's also a delay action to some degree. Uh, oh, did I, I did not get that income. I don't think so. Been forgetting a lot. Actually, I do, definitely want to get another trading station because um, that gives me victory points at the end of the round. Although... I mean, then I won't have very much ore for next round. So we'll see. I mean, yeah, no, there's no way I can get up to this. So I'd love to get another trading station. But actually, I'm not within three of them anywhere. So that's really not going to work out. So I'm going to have to try to build here, I guess. Either that or I just call it a day. I feel like that's a waste, though. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend my QIC. Gosh, I need one point of research. Is there any way to get me one point of research? I mean, next turn I can just build there no problem. Why? What is my rush? Are they gonna beat me there? No, they are not. The rush is I'd get another mine income, but I'd save a QIC. If I really don't care about the QIC, I can just turn a QIC into that anyway. So, yeah, I might just call it a day. I might just be done after one action on the second round. I mean, that's one of the negatives of going up to your level four building right away. It's very resource intense, and I didn't have any income. I have no income from any of my tracks up here. Um, so yeah, I actually think I'm gonna say I'm done. So when I do that, I immediately get my victory points. Oops, sorry, victory points for that over there. So I have one of these trading posts built, so that's two victory points for me. And let's see what I'm grabbing. Well. Oh, 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 hold on. When the AI finished last turn, I was supposed to look at their card and figure out which one of these they were taking. I don't know what it was. I'm just gonna draw it random from here. They would have taken the, do, 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 the, whoops, leftmost card. All right. All right, so they would have taken this one and returned this one. All right, so that terraforming one is there for me. So I'm going to take that one because, again, next round, we score victory points for terraforming steps. It's only two per terraforming step, but, I mean, may as well do it. Plus, the gold income is definitely something I am interested in as well. I'm going to flip that over because I am done done. All right, so the AI has only done one action as well. Let's see what they're going to do. So they're going to do their signature action at plus zero. So first things first, they do get a victory point for doing their signature action. Then they're gonna upgrade. When they upgrade, they're gonna get three. So one, two, three, because they are definitely gonna upgrade. Now, how do they decide where they're gonna upgrade? Well, their faction special ability says upgrading, if not uh, action, or it is a possible action, so we don't gotta worry about that. So let's see, their priorities, Planetary Institute, well, we know this, that's on the card. Uh, closest to your planets and then directional selection so those are the only two things so the directional selection is top to bottom left to right top to bottom left to right and let's see closest to my buildings well there's only one close there's only there's no not much closer you can get than that um now i have a choice to make are there really only three of those or did i take their building and move it somewhere that i don't know i took their building and move it somewhere i don't know what else could I have done with that building? You guys see it, you saw it, you're laughing at me right now. I don't know where it went. Oh, and these are still locked on. Let's change that. Toggles, no grid, thank you very much. Yeah, what did I do with that other, oh. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> they did not build a trading station last turn. They built one of their basic buildings over here. That would have been a heck of a turn to be able to build at upgrade. So, because they built next to me, Mine is a tier three building. So it's a three power building. So I can spend two victory points, one, two victory points to cycle three power, one, two, three power. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right. And so that I can do even though I've passed. Uh, they did that. So they got their victory point, they got the three extra victory points and that's all they do for their AI action. All right, let's go to the next one. So one victory point, let's start there. They're gonna build, they don't care about goals within two of themselves, bottom to top. So bottom to top within two of themselves. So we said green or Saturn looking planets. Looks like this might be the only one, or blue. Um, 
This one is not in their range. Yep, so it's these two, and if you look bottom to top and closest to me, this wins both tiebreakers. So that is the one that gets built. It is not in my neighborhood though, so I don't get any power for that. So that action is done. Let's see what their final action is. Yes, the AI has taken more actions than me. So they're gonna look four over, and that one goes up one. One, two, three, four. They go up one more on this QIC track. All right, so let's hope that they draw a red X here, and they did. So you look up here, it's a red X, so they are done. So they're gonna trade in for the leftmost uh, one of these. So they trade this in, they take the leftmost one, and the AI is done except for scoring up top, but we remember it was for federations, and round one to three, they get zero points for federations. So that is that. Again, I see a lot of people in the chat, but it's been awful quiet today. Please feel free to chat in. Let me know what you think of Gaia Project or let me know what you think of my gameplay. Sorry for the uh, couple of early mistakes or, or misses, but I think we're all up to date now. But yeah, let me know what you're thinking. That was definitely not my best turn. The AI had a way better turn than me there. Um, hopefully not a sign of things for the future, although luckily they didn't get too far ahead of me as far as score goes. All right, we add another card to the AI deck. We take three off, one, two, three, and those become the potential countdown timer for next round. I am still first because I passed first, and let's go into the next round. And actually, what I should be doing is flipping these when we are done with the round. Uh, all right, so terraforming steps get us two victory points for each terraforming step. And we can do some of that with um, power as well. So let's go ahead and get my income. Uh, so let's not forget this one this time. Two gold from here. I get two ore from here. Let's just move up three gold from here. I get to add a power. And then I get to cycle four power. One, two, three. Unfortunately, I only had three, but that's okay. I'm sitting on six power right now. Definitely not going to complain about that. Um, and then I get two research, which I or knowledge, which I also want. All right, so that's good. The AI doesn't get any income. No income for you. All right, so I really wanna go up on the knowledge track to increase my range. That is super duper important to me. And then I really start getting up this Gaia forming track. I do not wanna spend another game not moving up that. But let's see, I can Gaia form two steps for five power. Is there any place in my range that I can Gaia form? So two steps away from me is yellow or blue that would let me kind of sneak in here. Now, in order to do that, I've got to spend this to increase my range by two. I got to spend the QIC. And I think I'm willing to do that. Yes, I'm going to be in range and I could build on this Gaia planet, but I want to kind of cut them off over here. And yeah, you'll see why later. But bottom line is I want to be here so I can start, you know, well, there, there's no other benefit. I just get the two. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's all I really care about. It's And it's another planet, and I can do it for free. So, well, what are the other options, right? So I can get money or or I feel like f seven money's pretty good. Huh. So that's something to think. But there's no way I'm ever going to terraform here if I don't do that. Um, and then I could terraform one step also. So I could terraform up to three. So let's see, do I want one of these? Cause that'd be all in one action. Oh no, no, it's either one or the other, right? So white or brown. Well, white I can do with my action here. All right, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I am going to, not the white one, I'm gonna do the yellow. So I'm gonna spend my QIC. I am going to use this here. That will let me for two and one build right here. The QIC gave me the range one two and one and then i got to build all right and what am i looking for at the end of this round oh when i put that back i did not get my victory i am not doing great i should have had two victory points from putting that back last time. oh i did because i lost two victory points for using their power all right so that cost me why did i only spend one power that cost me five power <laughs> i wish it only cost me one power two three four five that looks more correct all right um so that is my action i built here uh and again it's within range of them but that doesn't mean anything for them 
So let's do the AI. And so why do I like this game so much? I mean, it's partially because the AI is pretty simple to resolve. So first thing, you just give them victory points. They're gonna get one, two, three more because they are upgrading. Oh no, they're not. One, two, three down because they're gonna upgrade to this top level building here because they do it if they can. That is their first priority is to do that. So that is what they're doing. Now, do I wanna spend two victory points again? You bet your sweet patootie I do because I got my Planetary Institute here. So you can always spend one less victory point than the number of dots here to cycle that much power. So one, two, three power cycle. Absolutely, I want to do that. All right, so that is my turn and their turn. Uh, or that was their turn. So I'm going to go ahead and take my turn. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Well, we want to do this. Oh, hold on. Again, two terraforming steps. I should have got four points. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to terraform again. I'm going to do this one right here for another two victory points. And then I gotta pay two gold. I gotta pay one ore. And then I get to build this mine right here on this spot right there. Let's see. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I upgrade one of these, then I could, which I wanna do, I could make a federation this turn. And that would be good because that gets you stuff to do. Uh, oh, I still haven't uh, used my knowledge this turn. We'll see. Maybe I use it for QIC. I'll probably use it to be able to build further because next turn then I'll be able to build there or there or wherever else. All right. So right now, um, I did not, I should not have gained two. I should have lost two gold. I'm like, why do I have so much gold? That seems off because it is off. All right. So I am done there, and now it is back to the AI's turn. And the AI is going to build as well. So they're gonna build, focusing on the top ones. They want a Gaia planet within four of themselves. That is their number one priority, Gaia planet within four of themselves. Do, 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 let's see. Now the purple ones, they can turn into Gaia planets, uh, but, oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, yep. Yep, least terraforming steps possible. So again, they would turn these into Gaia planets, but that follows all the things because it's the least terraforming steps. So for the AI to terraform, just as a reminder, to a purple planet, which I forget what they're called. They're not Gaia planets. They're like the ones that are ready to become Gaia planets. I don't remember the name of them. They're basically Gaia forming ready. Um, so for those planets, it costs them two. So they want to do the ones that are the least Gaia steps. So let's put them up on this track just as a reminder which isn't good because like I've been trying to protect these over here and now they're getting into them let's see how many structures they have one two three four five six seven so they have seven structures right now so they're up six on this man I don't know if I'm gonna get six structures in a federation that seems a little bit out of reach um but I do want to upgrade to a trading station while I can well I can't right now but I gotta spend one power to get one gold that action's right over here, or sorry, right here. One action to get one gold. And then I can spend three and two to upgrade. Now I gotta make sure I got something in range of them and I would like it to be one of these, which I do. I got this one right here. Now, this is only in range of this. So I'm gonna do this one. Well, no, I'm gonna do this one. All right, so this one's, this mine is getting upgraded. That mine wasn't getting me any ore anyway. So there you go. And that's gonna cost me three and two. One, two, three, and one, two, or. Uh, again, the six cost is if you're not in range of one of them, the three cost is if you are in range, which is why early on it's not a bad idea to build near them. But they're gonna go ahead and go and take their next action. So what is their next action? They're gonna go up on one of the tracks. Oh, forgot to give them three victory points. Well, one, two, three. Uh, so they're gonna go up on one of the tracks, which one, one to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything they do is one to the left. Do, 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 do. They're all done now. Yes, they are. Um, yep. All right, so back to me. And I am going to form a federation. How do you form a federation? You have to have seven points of buildings. So I got three there. Again, you just look at the dots underneath. That's three points. Four, five. Again, those are two. And these are one. Uh, four, five, so six, seven. Now you're only allowed to include the minimum 
that you can. Oh, this trading station would be it too. Huh. And then that would let me form another federation out here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I need to discard uh, s uh, satellites to be able to build that. So I need one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna have to discard four power. One, two, three, four, because I need to build four satellites. One, two, three, four. So I got a little bit less power and it's gonna definitely hurt me when I go to Gaia forming. Oh no, no, that's not what I'm doing. What am I looking at? One, two, three, four. So that connects these buildings. Yes, I could connect to these. And yes, I do want one big federation. Um, I'm hoping to connect them by building down here or here. Um, like building here, making it a federation, then building this like last turn of the game. That would be nice, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I definitely like a second federation. So what's the benefit of a federation, you say? You get to do this stuff. So I could get two power back and eight victory points. I could get two ore, I could get six gold, I could get a QIC, I could get research. Let's see where I'm sitting on my stuff. I got four research. You know what? I am gold poor and it's not, oh, well, I'm getting seven and three seven and three so i need six and six for this well really these are what i want to build so i'm going to be getting seven and three um so it looks like ore is going to be the thing to hamper me plus it's easier so ah but it's only two ore versus six gold uh that's a tough choice it's a real tough choice i'm gonna take the two or four now all right so this is the federation I built. I get seven victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I get two or one, two, which doesn't let me build anything right now. And only have two power. So I definitely got to work on that. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Did I get my two or I definitely had to, right? Yes, I'm gonna say yes. Uh, GEP said, you did the right track, but you said left track. Oh, the, the the furthest one on the right. I'm sorry. If I said left, I apologize. My wife does that all the time. I think she's rubbing off on me. She definitely gets her lefts and rights mixed up. Um, yeah, it definitely throws me off. Um, I, I Somebody who usually gets those two right, but that was not one of those times. So let's go ahead and go on to them because I just formed a federation I can also research which is good uh, and maybe I should have done that before I decided what I did there uh, all right so they are gonna build again yeah because they're still in the uh, first half all right so they're gonna focus on the top goal which again is nothing in this situation because they're just trying to build as many places as possible um, they're gonna build two away and looking top left to bottom right and again we're using this as the top row going this way um, all right, so fewest terraforming steps. Do they have any planets within two that are red? No. So then they're looking for Saturn looking planets and they are looking for the blue planets. Do they have any of those within two? No, no, no. Or Gaia planets. Forget, don't forget Gaia planets. All right. So then we're looking for, I don't see anything. Oh, no, no, no. This is three away. Nope. Ah, they do have this one. So they do have one. So they will build there because that I believe is the only one within two of any of their stuff. That is any of those things. This one's close, this one's close, but close does not count. All right, so I'm gonna do some research. Let's do it. Down, 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 down. I mean, I feel like I gotta go up this track, but man, that doesn't feel good right now. Um. Going up this track would get me two right away. QIC cube for this track. Here I get income. Gosh, I feel like power cycling income is important early. But I really need to do it. I'm doing it. All four of my research, gone. Because it's gone. Yes, it's gone. All of my research is gone. All right, so this is the one that says it's gonna go up on the track it is the highest up on. And if there is, oh, one victory point and one victory point. 
man, I forget that more often than anything. But that's okay because that means I win more, right? I mean, you know, not going to complain too much. <laughs> so if there's a tie for what they are the highest on, they're going to go four from the right. They go right to left, and maybe that's what I was thinking. But they are not tied. They are just going to go up on this track. So as a reminder, all of these spaces are worth four victory points at the end of the game for how each one they go up. Uh, not right now, at the end of the game. So we are to their point of the game where they might be ending their turn on their next action. And I don't think I have anything else I want to do. I mean, there's plenty I want to do. I don't think there's anything else I can do. So it looks like I am passing. Now I got six points off of this this turn and they are only getting four points off of it. So that feels good to me. Um, yep, so I'm gonna pass, which gives me first player and it lets me trade this in. Let's see what our goal is for the next round. Just a reminder, I can't get that one. Uh, let's see, what is our goal for the next round? Our goal for the next round is going to be to build these buildings. So, should I score two for each of those I have on? And that would also get me ore, which I have three of, but that's not unlimited. Uh, this next one's going to get me good gold income, too. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that because yeah the other ones I'm not gonna really do the victory point parts of them and that is a big part of what you get I need to get up here also at some point here soon uh, this turn is not the turn to do it right because I get points for doing that actually oh I could upgrade one and then trash it again and that would count as a reminder um, that does count as me advancing on the track so that's something to think about I think I am probably gonna do that next turn I'm probably gonna upgrade to one of these so I can get some free research, uh, a free tech upgrade, and then boom, right back down because that is my special power and why wouldn't I try to do that? Uh, that gets me up the track a second time. All right, so let's hope they draw a red X. They did not. They're gonna do their AI power at plus zero, so they get one, uh, one here. They have already built their highest level building, so that'll never happen. So we look at two, which is gonna be this. So let's build that. As a reminder, they want to build it as close to me as possible. Well, you're not getting any closer than that. So they're going to build here. Um, yep, no other tiebreaker matters. <laughs> when you are that close to somebody, no tiebreaker matters. Let's take off grids. Come on. Don't like the grid snapping. It's, it's good for me and my stuff, but they don't have a player board, so they don't need to snap to a grid. Um, so when they do that, I get two, so they upgraded this one. So I would have to spend two victory points to get three. Um, I can only do two. So it's one, wait, one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna do it because next turn I'm gonna, because of this, I'm gonna get all the way to the top anyway. So no, I am not gonna give up any more victory points right now. So I am good. So they are done with that action. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the AI is so clean on this. Uh, they got an X. They're going to take the rightmost thing from here, which is the one I just put back, and they are done as well. I continue to be the first player because I continue to not have enough actions. Uh, so let's see what they do. Uh, or let's see what I do. Forget them. They're done. Uh, oh, yes, they will score victory points, though. They get four because it is rounds one through three. So they get four here, and this round we're gonna get four victory points for each of those we build. So that got that going for us. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. And then the last two rounds we really want to build on Gaia Planet. So if I'm gonna go up this Gaia forming track, now is the time. Uh, I really need to make a push for it. Um, and I'm gonna try to do that before per. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Cause I, I need to build. If I'm going to do this right, I'm going to need to build some more um, power as well. If I'm going to try to do multiple, multiple planets at once, which hopefully I can. All right. So I am done with my turn. They are done with their turn. Let's collect income. So first things first, I'm going to get my ore from this. Then I'm going to get my three victory points or three or victory points. I wish uh, seven money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we will go around the horn. We will add one power and cycle four. One, two, three, four. Not mad at that. By the way, this, I still have this blocked. So I get a free terraforming step or plus two power. All right. 
Unfortunately, not plus two science. So we've done that one, nothing here, plus two power here, or plus two knowledge here. All right, so there's that. Uh, and I'm one away from two knowledge. There's not much I can do about that though. Uh, for four, I could get one knowledge on my board. That seems terrible too. For four, I can get one or, which might be something. Here's just one research. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into my turn. So again, this round, I am looking to upgrade to trading stations. So, or again, I get it for downgrading as well. So I'm gonna do this first. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a research lab. So let's upgrade. So for five and three, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, I am going to upgrade to a research lab. And you can do actions with your power uh, freely as long as they're not on this board. I don't think I'm going to do the plus two power or this action this turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these to actually get for three. I could get an ore, but I think I'm going to get three gold. And the reason I'm doing that is in case they do something near me, I want to be able to benefit from it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to only do it with two of my gold because I'm never going to cycle four. So I'm going to get two gold right now and we'll see what that does for me. All right, so I am gonna upgrade. So this is already part of a federation, doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess it's not gonna matter either way. So I'm gonna upgrade, well, no, no, no. This one is more likely to be in range of them doing something, although it is the same level and I'm about to downgrade it anyway, so I'm overthinking this. Um, all right, so when I do that, see the science symbol behind it? It mean, uh, means I get one of these technologies, technology symbol behind it. Uh, let's see, so every time I build on a Gaia forming planet, I get three. I definitely want that at some point, but for now, man, that looks good and that looks good. This would not only give me income now, but every round, but I already said I need to get up this Gaia forming track and it's hard to get up all of them. And I know I'm gonna want this at some point. Not gonna want any of these things that are one or whatever. This one's decent, but not right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take the four gold income one. So every income phase plus four gold, that means I get to move up the associated track and unlike last game, you might see me actually Gaia form this game. Now I don't have enough power to even Gaia form because right now my cost to Gaia form is six, which means why am I doing this now? Four gold income, that's why you're doing it now, Peter. Stay focused. All right, uh, and actually I am probably gonna upgrade to this again and maybe even downgrade again. So we'll see what happens. This will be, uh, yeah, this could be a fun turn. Oh, when I get research for each different type of planet that I have, we'll see what that equates to in a little bit. But, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was about to say, this is the AI's last turn. I was like, that can't be right. The AI can't be already done. They haven't done anything. That is exactly right. They have not done anything. So one, two, three, we're gonna turn these sideways and let's see what they do as their first action. They are just gonna block up one of the spaces three over. So they're gonna go here, they're gonna go one, two, three from right to left and block up the third space over. All right, oh, victory points. Do they get, they get one victory point. That was worth a victory point to them. All right, let's go to my board and let's see what I wanna do. Well, I wanna downgrade, that's my special action. That lets me go up a research track when I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and downgrade this, boop, 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 to one of these. Boop, boop, boop. All right, when I do that, I get four victory points because that is the goal of the round is to uh, upgrade to those. One, two, three, four. Now, I did look this up ahead of time. It is very clear in my faction sheet that that is considered upgrading to a trading station. Upgrading, quote unquote. Uh, but I do get to go up a research track as well. And I am gonna go up, I mean, gotta stick with it, right? The guy forming track to get three additional power in my bowl. So now I can Gaia form a planet because I have enough. I have six, which would go here, which would be great. And it's something I wanna do, but first I wanna go up here and we'll see if we can do that. Probably can, but I'll have to take this or this, which aren't exactly what I want. I'd much rather get this. So we'll see if that's gonna happen this turn. All right. So, 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 where am I? All right. So right now I am to, I just upgraded, quote unquote, one of my buildings. So I got the four victory points. I went up the track and I am done. 
Oops. Let me shuffle these up. I didn't see that. You guys probably saw it. I did not. You know what? We'll shuffle it in so you guys are surprised too. Surprised as I am. What's going on there? All right. Yeah, I should not have the tracks in this order. I did not the entire time. I don't know why I changed it here. This is where I'm going to be drawing from in two. So I just messed myself up. Zero victory points. So they're going to go up on a random track. Five from the right. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's why I got messed up there. Because I said I'm going left because the arrow is pointing left. But I meant from the right. We're going to say that that's why I'm a, a mess up on that. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Let me say way -o. I didn't hear anybody, but you guys might have been saying way -o. I hope you were. All right. Um, so I'm going to do this again. So I got one more power. Boom. I got the power. All right. So I spent my one power to get one gold. And I'm going to re-upgrade to one of these. So it's going to cost one, two, three, four, five. And it is going to cost me one, two, three. And then I'm going to upgrade to another research lab. And guess where it's going? Same spot. They like their research plant uh, things on that guy on those Gaia planets. They love the research stations. All right, so I get another science upgrade. Man, it is hard to pass this up. I really do. I mean, oh no, no, not this track. This one. I do want that second Gaia former and to make it cheaper. But. This is just real hard to pass up this early in the game, so I'm not going to pass it up. I'm going to get that, which gives me more income, and this gives me more income. That's like a double income bonus whammy uh, that I can't pass up. And if I'm stupid, then I'm stupid, and I'm probably stupid, let's be honest. Um, yeah, because the science upgrade is not going to do anything, but the research, the gold, yeah, I just... Uh, greedy, greedy. Oh, Science research. Eh, 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 eh. All right. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. The extra power is not going to do anything, but the extra gold is good. All right. All right. I am done. I upgraded to that. The AI is going to bloop, bloop, bloop. Wait a minute. I'm still going to get to go up there. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. That's my hockey. Yes, yes, yes. I'm an Islanders fan. Um, so they're doing the top one, which is Gaia planets. They're going to try to find a Gaia planet within two with the least terraforming steps. So Gaia planet within two of them with the least terraforming steps. Well, there's no Gaia planets within two, but they are going to be able to turn these into Gaia planets. So what are the tiebreakers? Do -do -do. Let's remind ourselves. Maybe you guys have them memorized, but... I don't know. I have to check every time. So faction tiebreaker, not applicable here. Final scoring tiebreaker, not applicable. Fewest terraforming steps. Again, they would choose a Gaia planet, but instead they're going to choose the non-Gaia planet closest to your planets. All right. So they want to build as close as possible to me. Well, that's pretty darn close. Uh, and these two are not as close because it's got to be within two. So this is it. So I could spend two victory points because he's within two of this to get three power. But here's the problem. I'm not going to be able to use that power. And it's just going to go to the Gaia forming station in a second anyway. So forget it. All right. Guess what I'm doing? I am downgrading my research station again. <laughs> this, this, this planet is very confused. What is going on here? We just keep making research stations, getting rid of them. So I'm going to go up a track. And I am, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So if I had cycled three, I could cycle three more. It's still not enough to do anything. All right, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to go up this track. I'm going to get another Gaia former, and now I can Gaia form for four. So I have two Gaia formers, and I do cycle three power because I went over that little hump diddy hump over here. All right, and then I will be able to Gaia form in a second. You will see me Gaia form for the first time on stream. <laughs> so I have not done it, which is kind of crazy considering, again, the game's called the Gaia Project. Now watch, they're going to build near me and I will be able to get power and it'll be sad. <sighs> yeah, I said I didn't do it. I'm not doing it. 
Yep, they're probably gonna upgrade right by me. All right, so they are upgrading to this. Um, so let's get the victory points. I did not give them the victory point for that, I don't think. One, one for this turn, and then one, two, three, because every time they upgrade, they get one. So they are gonna upgrade. So their goal is to be closest to me, I believe is the main goal. And then you look at the chart. Well, this is definitely closest to me. Wow, I just did that. Um, all right, but this also becomes a Gaia planet. So see, they're like, hey, you need to change it to a Gaia planet, which I just did. Uh, didn't you use the downgrade this turn? The orange one should be once per turn use. Oh, is this a, a, a planetary thing? Where you put a, a thing on it? Oh, it's giant. I did not see that. You're right though, it's orange. So I don't get to do it a second time. I didn't take the victory points, thankfully for me, but so this goes down one. GEP, good catch there. I did not realize that was an orange thing. You're right though, it's in an orange box. It's just such a giant box, I got confused. Um, so I didn't take the victory points, which I guess is a good thing. Um, cause I forgot to do it. GP, do you find yourself, uh, doing that? Forgetting to take victory points for stuff like that? I, I find in solo, when I'm not streaming, I'm trying to keep it lively and keep moving, things like that. Um, but when I'm playing at home, I kind of slow down and, and don't make some of these mistakes, I feel like. But yeah, definitely doing it on the stream. I definitely tend to miss victory points here and there. And, and I, I'm sure when I'm playing by myself, I tend to miss them as well. All right, so since I didn't do an action last turn, I think my round might have been over then. Let me see if there's anything else I wanna do. Yes, yes, so last round. Wait, so this round. Wait, I went up a guy a track that I should not have gone up. So I move myself back down. Uh, so I lose this guy, a former. All right, let's make sure you get all this right. And I lose this power. Okay. Yep, that's all right. So last round, I would have started a Gaia project. So I would have moved. Wait, why am I missing one? Ah, they're stacked up. I was like, wait a minute. So I, it cost me six because I am on the six space. It cost me six and I'm gonna start Gaia forming there isn't much within two of me. I guess this one here, just to kind of take it away from them. All right, so we'll see how this works in a second. But I'm gonna start Gaia forming that planet over here. I do want this one as well. So I gotta start thinking about that. Oh, that was within two and close to me also. Do, do, do. So this card, let's see what the tiebreaker would have been top to bottom. So yes that still would have been here. I think that was the card that would have, that placed that. Yeah, yeah, cause that, this card placed it. So it's top to bottom. Yeah, so I gotta be worried about this one too. Huh, do I build there instead of here? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna build the guy form. No, because I don't wanna build that yet. Cause it's already part of a, I'm, all right. This is my crazy brain action. I'm gonna try at some point to build a federation here and then connect it with this planet to my other federation. I don't know that that's possible at all, but that's the only way I could see possible. I mean, I don't know how they expect you to get a federation size 10. If anybody has any ideas from me, let me know. But that seems crazy. Um, all right, so GEP, let's see. Uh, yes, always, but most of the time balances with the ones I miss for the Automa. Yes, yeah, I, I tend to miss them for me and for, for them, I agree. <laughs> let's hopefully, think that it does that at least anyway. All right, so that would have been my action before they just did this action and upgraded. So um, I'm gonna pass. So I will be the first to pass again. And our goal for next turn is building on Gaia planets. That is important. Now, it's interesting because building on Gaia planets is important next turn, but the turn after it's actually worth more victory points to do. Um, so I do want to do that. I see Gaia planets here. I'm going to need QICs to build on Gaia planets. Um, cycling power is not going to help me. So I'm just going to take this one. 
This would have been great for this turn. Holy cow. Oh, it's at the end of the round, however many you have. So actually, that's great. And even though I couldn't do it last turn, first of all, it'll help me get an extra research. But the other nice part is I will be able to do it next turn. Um, I'll be able to do it like right at the beginning of this turn. I'll be able to upgrade that or downgrade that building, quote unquote, upgrade that building. All right, so I am done. Let's see what the AI does. Do, do, do. They're going to go up on the track that they are the highest on and they're getting a victory point. Do, 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 do. All right, so if they go up again, they're first going to remove this and then they're going to go up to the top. They don't get any benefits from it. They're just an AI. That, I mean, that's one of the things I love about the AI here. It's just so smooth and simple, except again for its main action, which is this one. Uh, this is by far the most complicated one. So they are going for Gaia planets again, which we know what that one's going to be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. Oh, there's this one too. Um, what's the tiebreaker? And again, I keep having to look it up every time. You think I would know? Uh, if you was terraforming steps, so closest to your planet, and then directional arrow. Okay. So come on, it's easy. Closest and then directional arrow. All right, so it's bottom to top, which means it's gonna be this one. Cause this is within one of mine and this is not anyway. So directional arrow doesn't even matter. Fewest guy forming steps would have been the first tiebreaker. So there goes my hopes and dreams of building this federation down here. Um, that's all right. If I hadn't done that, they would have taken this one. So it literally wouldn't have mattered either way. All right. When they build there though, let's make it a Gaia planet. And I'm gonna start counting up stuff again at the end of the round, just to kind of see where we are with all this stuff. All right, um, so this round will be the the counting stuff up round. Oh, I gotta give them three victory points. One, two, three, and then we will go. Come on, Red X, come on, Red X, yes! The Red X of wonderfulness shows up again. They're gonna take the rightmost one. That's the one I just returned. And they're going to put this one up there, which, eh, eh, I probably will never want that one. <laughs> so that's okay. All right, so they return that. Let us clean them up. And I am going to take a quick station identification. Not really. I'm going to take a quick break, though, to count up uh, where we are on the board before we head into the final two rounds. But first things first, this is in the back half now. Um, so they're going to get six victory points because it's the back half. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. That makes six. Yes, indeed. I don't know. I'm just making up stuff now. All right. So final two rounds. So they're only going to score two for each of these. And I'm going to potentially go nuts on these. Um, so let's get ready for the final two rounds. The final two rounds. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. So how many buildings do they have? One, two, three, four. And I know I'm supposed to be putting satellites down, by the way, next to all their planets that aren't adjacent, but it doesn't matter. It's literally just for the end game scoring condition and it isn't on this one. So I'm not worried about all the satellites I did not put down. All right, so they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 total buildings. So they are up to nine on this bottom track in their largest federation. Now, is this... Most structures in the Federation. Yeah, there's no way in heck. I don't know how you'd build, hey, uh, GEP or anybody else out there, if anybody knows how you'd build a Federation that big, you let me know. Because my idea was to like combine two Federations because I think you can't add to your Federation once it's on the board by adding satellites. And it said you can't add more satellites than you need to add. So I don't know how you would make a giant federation with number of things because my biggest right now is three i mean <laughs> so i mean i mean again i guess you could combine two or three at some point but yeah i don't know i don't know i don't get that one um you know because uh, the ai they're making it seem so easy for the ai right it's like their total number of buildings minus one and for this it's at 10 like it just seems Oh, in federations. Is that all federations on the board? Oh, I was thinking it had to be in one federation. Have I always played that wrong? I don't know that I haven't always played that wrong. That's in all federations on the board. Oh, it says in federations. It doesn't say in one fed. I was so cute. All right, I get it now. Yes, so this is in all federations on the board. I don't need to combine the federations. It doesn't even matter. All right. 
Now I feel way better about that. I was like, this is so confusing. How is that possible? All right, so they got one, two Gaia planets. There are two. Where am I at? I think I'm at one. Do, 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 do. One. And one. And one. So that's two. Oh, that's not mine. Why am I pointing at red? <laughs> I am gray. That's one. I am at one. Now, in a minute, I'll at least have a second one coming up here. Um, but right now, I'm still at one. All right. So that is all correct. All right. Let's get to my income phase, which will be much more exciting than it has been for the rest of the game. All right. First thing, let's get me one research. Boom. Then let's get a research into gold. Boom. Boom. Then let's get four gold. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Then let's get three ore. One, two, three. Then let's get three more gold. One, two, three. Then I will put a power in. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna copy this one and I move it. I right. cycle four power. Well, that was very exciting. That's probably one gold. <laughs> it's what that's gonna equal out to there. Um, oh, this comes off. I forgot to do cleanup step. Boom, boom, boom. Let's clean up the board. Woo. Wait, that was like DuckTales. A DuckTales, a woo. All right, so I cycle power. Let's get my research from here. So that's one, two, three which seems good. All right, so this is a step we never saw in my last playthrough. Uh, yeah, so Gabe P says, isn't that the number of structures in different federations? And uh, yeah, you can have three federations with four stru structures each. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I have literally never, well, maybe I did. I again, it's been a while since I played, um, but I, I don't ever remember that being the rule. So I'm wondering if I didn't always play that wrong, uh, which is, you know, you think of other games too. You think of like Clans of Caledonia, where you're trying to get one big sprawling thing that's like broken up by little things. You think of like other games where like you're trying to area control and that's why in my mind that's the way it worked. But by the way, it's not the way it works. So don't do that. Don't pay attention to what I say. Pay attention to what the rules say, because that sounds way better than what I say. All right. So now, Gaia forming step. Never, ever have we done this in one of our plays here. But any planet you have a Gaia former on, you are going to take the Gaia former off and put that on. You put the Gaia former back on. Now that is my planet. Nobody else can make anything there. Now, I can't Gaia form while it's there, right? So I'm stuck with zero Gaia forming ability right now. But. When I build, instead of paying that QIC, I can just remove that building and that counts as my QIC. So as you can see, all right, I'm gonna build here. And then I don't think I can count range. If somebody in the chat can tell me, I don't think I can count range from uh, like a Gaia former. So again, if I Gaia form here, this is gonna make a difference in whether I build another level of technology in that. Cause this is three away. So if I build a Gaia former here, can I then Gaia form there as well? That's kind of key to figuring out what I need to do. Um, so if anybody in the chat could let me know, I would so I would very much appreciate it. And this is three victory points whenever I go on a Gaia planet. You bet your bottom dollar that is the first thing I'm doing this turn. And it gets me QIC, which I need. Yes, please. Cause I don't have QIC to build on well, this planet. I can build on this one, but anyway. Super excited. This is gonna be a turn of the mines. And guess what? Every time I build a mine on a Gaia planet, that is more. Uh, so Gabe P says he doesn't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can either. I think it's gotta be from built structures, not from Gaia formers. So if I had a QIC, I could spend it to build there, but I think I'm just gonna be happy with the six I have and go from there. All right, so part of the Gaia forming step as well. So I just Gaia formed that planet and then I get all of this power back into this bowl. Now for some planets, or planets, for some factions, it actually goes to the two bowl. I say some, but it's really one. So that's the cool part about this game is every faction plays completely different. And uh, that's one of the things that makes it very special, at least in my mind. All right, I got a lot of research, but first thing I wanna do is this. I'm downgrading. <laughs> this time I will put an orange thing on it. Thank you for reminding me. I am downgrading this and going up a research track. Which track, you may ask yourself, I will answer you this track. Wait, is that what I wanna do? One QIC? Seems kinda dumb, right? 
Although, again, I'm trying to get in. Oh, I could. This would help me. It'd give me a second Gaia former. I just don't know if that's worth it. I really don't. I can get a QIC by going up this track. That makes more sense to me. I'm going to go up this track. That cycles three power, gives me a QIC, and potentially gets me to more range to do what we were kind of talking about earlier. All right. So that does cycle three power. One, two power. And one more power here. So that is three power cycled. Did I add a card to the AI deck? I feel like I didn't. So it started with seven on turn one. So it would have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Look at me. I did add a card. Um, there we go. All righty. Do, 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 do. I got my QIC. I went up the track. Wait, how did I go up the track? I downgraded my building. That's right. That doesn't get me any points there, though. So I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so AI turn. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Gabe P says he doesn't think you can because it's not a structure. And I agree with you, Gabe P. Going to go up the fifth track from the right, going left. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that is definitely, I think last turn I did say five from the left, but I meant to the left, I guess. I'm counting five left from the right. Yeah, that's that was a little confusing, but no victory points there for you, buddy. So take that. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so now I want to start building on Gaia planets. Why? Well, uh, why? There's something I just did that gave me victory points. Oh, no. No, no, no. I got to rebuild that to get this. That's the key. All right, so I got to build this structure again. If I do that, will I have resources to even start building these? Yeah, I'll have enough to build one. And maybe I burn some science to build another one. We'll see. For now, I'm okay. I definitely want to do this. All right, so five gold. One, two, three, four, five. And it costs three ore. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, that's so painful. I am definitely running out of resources here. All right, but I am going to re-upgrade. This lab is just upgrade, downgrade, upgrade, downgrade. That's that's what we do here on, uh, what should we call this planet? We'll call it Gaia Prime because I think that, yeah, that is the only one. So Gaia Prime over here, we just keep messing around with the, uh, the power structure there. So I'm going to get this. I'm gonna go up there, so that gives me another QIC, and more importantly, this, which every time I build on a Gaia planet, I'm gonna get three victory points. Seems important, considering the goals for the last two rounds are to build on Gaia planets to get victory points. I mean, just makes sense, right? It's, it's too good not to do that. But let's not forget to get my other QIC cube, because I might need that, because QIC can be used as, a, um, as an ore as well, so. I mean, I'm hoping they do something near me. They haven't done something near me for a while. Wait a minute. Oh, or I haven't taken advantage of them doing something near me for a while, at least anyway. But let's go back to the AI's turn and see what they're going to do. So first things first, let's give them a victory point. And then they're going to upgrade. Why do you keep upgrading? I know why, because it gets you three victory points every time you do it. All right. So again, Let's figure out where the Z is going top to bottom this time. So we're starting up there going down, but it's going to be close as possible to one of my structures. Well, this is pretty close as possible to one of my structures. So that is that. Do, do, do. Now I can cycle some power. So for one victory point, for sure, I'm going to cycle two power because I just need resources right now. And it will get me way more than one victory point. Even if I can't cycle, I'm gonna have to burn some potentially. We'll see. Um, that's always that's always a risky proposition there. Uh, so I upgraded. Oh, I did do this once, so let's make sure we cover it up. I can do it again next turn though. Thank you for uh, GEP for letting me know. We got GEP and Gabe P as the uh, two people that have chatted the most today. I like it. There's a lot of G's and P's with the E's in the middle. Uh, so. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, back to me. Um, all right, I need to start building on these Gaia planets. All right, so this one just cost me the two and one. So two gold, one ore. And we get to build a structure, do, 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 which is going to be worth a bajillion points. A bajillion points, bajillion points. It's not really worth a bajillion points, but it is worth 
three points because of this and three points because of this. So that is six points, which seems one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I want to get in the lead for Gaia Planets 2. I got this one, this one, and this one in my sights for the next two turns. Um, we will see if it works out that way, but they're in my sights at least anyway. Um, let's hope they build or upgrade near me again, because I really, really, really would appreciate some science. Science! All right. So they are getting one victory point because they're doing their card. They are going to upgrade to one of these because that's what they do. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. All right. So they're going to upgrade as close to me as possible. And where is their arrow? It is top to bottom, left to right. So as close to me as possible. Well, again. Oh, they would have done this one last time. Uh, so I would have gotten one. Oh, no. I would have gotten two last time also. Uh, I believe that is the only one as close as possible left. Yeah, sorry. So they would have done this one first and then this one. Honestly, they're both within uh, range of a level two building. So it mattered absolutely zero in the end scheme only because they upgraded twice. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so they got their one victory point for that. And now I am going to lose a victory point to cycle two power one, two. How much do I need for an ore? Three? Of course I do. Um, so what they're saying is they want me to burn a power, but even if I burn a power, I can still Gaia form again. So certainly doing that. So burning a power to get a power. Is there something I can do first? Not really, no. All right, so burning power to get a power. Then I'm spending all three of this. One, two, three to get one here. Oh, I could do something first. Hold on. I'm not going to do that yet. Not going to do it. I'm hoping to cycle power the natural way um, because that way I can get other stuff too. So let's spend some of this knowledge I have here because knowledge is power. And maybe, just maybe, oh, I can cycle my own power. What am I looking at right here? Boom, boom, boom. I could cycle three power for doing this. It gives me a second Gaia form, which I don't really need. We already talked about that. But it does get me four more victory points at the end. It lets me buy this if I want to, uh, which also seems not bad. So this says pass. You get three victory points per federation you have when you pass. Huh. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not going to be there yet, right? But I'll be right next to it. Sure. I'll do this, which lets me cycle three power. Well, uno, dos trace power yeah that seems way better uh and gets me another guy former so now i can guy for two for one yeah two for one two sets of prints for one low price so if i can get my range to three which i wasn't planning on doing it's only one step from me though oh and i could buy this which for different planet types gets you a victory point yeah I don't know that I want that because there's this one down here. It's three victory points plus one per different type of planet. Oh, this is every time you pass, though, you would get that. Yeah, so these are more important to do like now, not next turn, because that way I get to use it twice, not just once. Uh, oh, Gabe P said, same person. I <laughs> just had to change the name on Google. Oh, all right. Well, Gabe P, I appreciate it. Um, yes. GEP, Gabe P, it all works. All right, let's see. It is back to, well, I appreciate you chatting tonight. Normally our chats are a lot more lively. Well, it depends on the day, I guess, but I, I definitely appreciate, you know, people who are interactive on the chat. It definitely helps my job become a lot easier when I'm doing it solo. When I'm playing with other people, it doesn't matter as much, but when I'm going solo, it's definitely better. I think I just took an action. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't remember. Oh, I spent... I did not spend my knowledge, but I did go up on the knowledge track. I moved, or I mean, yeah, I did go up on my track. I moved my stuff. I got my second Gaia former. Now it's only going to cost me four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I get one more, which I can get one more for the cost of one ore. 
I can get an ore by spending a QE, QIC. So there, there's some things I can do to get that one more if I wanna start two Gaia forming projects on the same turn, which honestly isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, I, I may end up doing that, because again, I get so many victor points. It's gonna be seven per next turn. Uh, and it puts me up higher on this first track that we're competing for. So it seems worth it if I can do it. I'd love to build another one this turn to get more ore per turn. I just don't know. Well, I kind of have to, to get to here. So, so I kind of have to do that this turn. Uh, and yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, don't forget. You can get two ore for four. Yes, but that's an action. All right. We're going to let them do their turn. AI, they're going to do theirs again. Now, they cannot upgrade to this. They don't have any. So can't upgrade to this because they have to have a research lab first before they can build an academy. So they're going to get a research lab. So they are not going to get three victory points. They're not going to get any, but actually they're doing their AI card, which gives them one. So let's give them one. They're going to upgrade to this. Again, closest to my structures. And we know there are three of them next to my structures. So it's bottom to top. So that time it is this time it is this one. And that's it. That's the AI's turn. I love how straightforward but yet good this AI system is. It really, really makes me happy how good this AI system is. By the way, I can probably make another federation here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just kidding. I'm not even close to making a federation. Who am I kidding? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I mean, I'm only two levels away, I guess. And I've already done this this turn. All right. So I was just talking about something. Ah, I need to build to here. I need an ore first. What did I say I could do to get an ore? Ah, I said I could do this. So for four science or four power, excuse me. Oh, wait, they upgraded next to me. So before I do anything, they upgraded next to me, which means for one victory point, I can spend, get my last two power. And yes, and thank you. So I got seven power there. So I could get up to three research. Holy moly. Um, huh. I mean, research is always good. That'd get me here. And that'd get me one for every federation. Eh. So get me one per every different planet type I have. All right. So this is where I go to this board and figure out how many planet types I have. So I got one, two, three, four four different types of planets. One, two, three, four. So that'd be four victory points this turn and four next turn. It's not the worst thing in the world. And it would get me to three range, which means I could Gaia form this. Oh, I didn't need a Gaia form it. That's just ready to go. Huh. 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 Well, I don't need to do that. I could spend four for one or I can spend three for one. So I need, I have a three and a four action. So I could do this to get me two. So there's one, two, three, four gets me two here. And now I got three more that I can buy one or with think that's how I'm going to do it. All right. So that was my action over there. Let's see where their action is. Uh, do, 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 do. Of course they're building more. Why wouldn't they build more? All right. They don't care about the goals at all. Within two. Again, terraforming steps. Bottom to top closest to me. Bottom to top closest to me. This and Saturn were the least. Actually, this is definitely the least terraforming steps, which is the number one thing they look at. So it'll be this one because it is always least terraforming. Well, it's always goals and then least terraforming steps. Look at that. I actually remembered. Faction tiebreaker, final scoring tiebreaker. They didn't have any fewest terraforming steps. Boom, zero terraforming steps is definitely the fewest. All right, back to me. I had an idea. I had many ideas. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four is going to now wait a minute i only get that if i build that type of building so wait what am i thinking i only get it if i build that type of building which or, or one of these type of buildings which there's no way i'm gonna have the resources to do this turn 
So was that dumb? That was dumb. I'm going to go back. Boink, boink. Thankfully, it didn't matter. So last turn, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get two of these instead. One, two. Hmm. Actually. Yeah, and then I can get three gold from these. As I need them. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to spend... Well, let's put a guy former out, shall we? So for four, no, I'm going to spend two. One, two, to get two gold. Oh, I only need to spend one gold. Sorry. Oops. One to get one gold, so that's two gold. One ore lets me put this out. I will put this out. Did I extend my range? No, I didn't. So here, this is the plan that I need to do had to do that this turn so that gets me six victory points three from here three from the round structure one two three four five six sorry i think i got it now i think i know what i'm doing <laughs> i mean not really obviously but i have a better idea now of what i'd like to do i'd like to do another one oh no no because i'm gonna start guy forming this planet and i might spend a qic to get to this one as well or to this one Oh, this one would put me right next to another one. So yeah, that seems like a better idea. Uh, and will I get QIC back at any point? I mean, I can go up this track to get some QIC. So, all right, we'll see. But that is, oh, so not only did I have to spend those, I had to spend a QIC because I'm building on a Gaia planet and I got my six points. Now back to the AI's turn. Oh, I definitely did not give them their one, two, three victory points from last turn. And they did something near me and I did get the science for that. Okay, so they're gonna get three more victory points. One, two, three. They are going to block the leftmost space here. All right, so back to me. So I'm gonna start Gaia forming this planet here. So let's take one of my Gaia formers, put it here. Gotta take four of these, put them here. Is that really what I want to do, or do I want to do this one? This one's better, but I could just spend a QIC to get here next turn. It's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just QIC poor right now. That's the problem. I need to find a way to get more QIC. I think this gives you one as an action every turn, but yeah. There's, there's no chance I'm getting up there. I could downgrade again next turn to get a QIC and an ore, which might be the thing, and then I can go up on whatever track I want. So, yep, 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 yep. We'll see. All right. So back to the AI's turn for now, though. Do, do, do. All right. One more here. And they're going to upgrade. They can upgrade to this again. So they will. They are going to look bottom to top. And again, as close to me as possible. So let's find close to me first. That's close to me. Uh, we'll put this right in the middle. Um, do, do, do. That's not close to me. Not really. That's three away. This one's only two away. This one's only two away. All right. So bottom to top is how they're going to do it. And then I believe do, do, do. left to right actually matters on this one. Uh, we're going to go right to left. So again, this is two away. This is two away. But we go right to left. So this is the one that gets upgraded. Boom. And they're going to get three victory points for that because, of course, they do. Stupid AI getting their three victory points every time they do that. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. And one more from here. I feel like I might have given them the three already, but whatever. Hopefully not. All right. So. I mean, there's no reason not to spend this QIC because next turn I'm going to spend it to build on here or this turn I spend it to do here. Either way, it's going to be the same in the end. So, oh, except I don't have the fourth power. So hold on. I need another power to do this. How do I get a power? In order to get a power, I need to spend an ore, which I have actually. Huh. So I'm going to get two gold. From this I spend my ore to get a power cube not two power cubes that would be nice but that is cheating 
And then I am going to use these four power cubes. Wait, did they do something near me last turn? Where were they? They did. They did it within two of me. I would have gotten one power. That would not have mattered. Uh, I would have put one to here. I couldn't do anything with that. So it does not matter. All right. I am going to Gaia form. And I'm going to have to spend a QIC to do it. But I'm going to Gaia form out here. Yep. That is what I'm doing. All right. So Gaia forming, Gaia forming, lots of fun with Gaia forming. Da, 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 da. All right. I am done. Their turn. They are out of AI cards, so hopefully they pass. They do not. They build another structure. They are going to get one victory point as well. Uh, they are going to build it. They care about the top one, so Gaia planets is what they're looking for within range. Don't be long. Don't be long. Don't be long. Four. Crap. They're going to take this one. No, they've got this one. But what's their goal? I think their goal is closest to me. Yep, it's got to be closest to me. So this one is one, two for me. Oh, and this one is one, two, three, because this guy former doesn't count. So actually, it will be this planet here. And thank goodness for small favors. Uh, there they are. So I don't see any other options. I mean, this is within four, but it's not close to me. Because I believe that is the first tiebreaker. Faction, fewest terraforming steps closest to your planets. Yep. So that was within two. Now, unfortunately, I don't get a power because I have no power in my bowls. But that is okay. That is my lot. All right. Am I going to do anything on this final turn? There's not really a whole lot I can do. But I'm pretty happy that I am pretty set up for this final turn. And I got quite a few points on this turn for building on Gaia Planets. And next turn, it's going to be off the chain, baby. Off the chain. All right. So let's go ahead and finish up the AI's turn then. Do, do, do. Oh, no, no, no. First, I got to turn in my thing and get another thing. So when I turn this in, I get three victory points for each of these I have. And there's nothing else there. So three victory points. Oops. That'll just be three. Oh, one, two, three. You can tell I'm used to going to like a normal score track. Uh, this mod, I would say, is good, not great. But uh, hey, not going to complain. So more power is not going to help me. Terraforming steps not really going to help me. But gold income is better than cycling power that I don't have. Um, and there's no way I'm building up one of these buildings next turn. So gold income it is you know sometimes you care more than other times this time didn't care that much all right so let's see what this is they get to keep going and they go up on their highest track and they get a victory point don't forget the victory point so they don't really go up on their highest track they just bump off the science there and that is now gone and not available for me to get so they get one over there all right so there i am done and passed so they get to keep going. No, they got the X. All right. Now they would have automatically passed after this, obviously, because they had none left. They're going to take the leftmost thing, which again, no chance I was getting that anyway. By the way, they cannot. Oh, and they always put theirs to the right when they put their, I don't know, stick of stick of bonuses back. I don't remember what these are called. Uh, when they put that uh, back, they always take or put it to the right. They never get any benefits from these, by the way. They're just taking it so you can't, basically, um, which is what's, again, the best part about this Automa, and I think is one of their first Automas, Morton did a great job on this. Uh, one of the best parts about this Automa is how interactive it is and yet how clean it is all at the same time. So let's go ahead and finish out the final turn. Oh, they do score two points for this. Ha, two points. Two points, nothing. They're only getting two points from the last one too. And I am definitely going to be getting lots more points. So let's get my income. So that's two plus four. So that's six, seven, and a research. Let's start there. So that's up to nine gold. Oops. Nine gold and a research. All right. So this is not income. I get one, two, three, four, or. All right. Then I get three more gold. Then I get three more research. 
What else? What else? What else? Oh, I get this. One and I get to cycle four. Well, that's not very useful. One, four. Because <laughs> I don't have anything else to cycle. Unfortunately, you get your income before that thing. Oh, don't forget this. I get two more gold and I get to cycle one. I don't remember if I had that income last turn. So if you notice, if it's got the hand under it, it means income that you get during the income phase. If it's got this white glowy stuff around it, it means that was a one-time benefit I got and is now gone. And it's gone. Oh, don't forget to clear these. And it's gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. All right, guy forming step. All these go there. I wish they were spread that way. Um, so I think this is eight here. quite a bit of power but it is not in a useful spot um and then these planets become gaia planets so they have now been gaia formed gaia forming i mean the game is called gaia project so yeah you should gaia form right that's the whole thing when i'm gone do 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 Let's see. All right, I'm ready to take my actions. So do I wanna go up any of these tracks before I do anything else? Again, I mean, it's not really gonna help me. Wait, why was this at three? Oh, that's how much it costs to, yeah, yeah, Never mind. I was looking at the wrong one. Do I wanna go up any of these tracks? Income doesn't really help me at this point because we don't have a last income phase. So the only thing that helps is getting up these tracks for more victory points, which let's be honest, isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, this would be better for me if I get a science upgrade, but I'm not sure that I will at any point. I'm definitely gonna make more federations. I kind of should upgrade some stuff, right? So let's look. Well, let's let's do what we know we gotta do, which is build on Gaia planets. Like that is, that is, one, two, and three most important thing we do this turn. Um, so let's build, I got the QIC, so let's build on this one. And actually, before all of that, let's reevaluate what everybody has. So they have one, two, three, four Gaia planets right now. So they are tied with the AI. I, I like to reevaluate this stuff between rounds, and I am sitting on one, Oh, that's not me. I keep doing that. One, two, three. So I'm sitting on three. And again, they're on one, two, three, four. Yep. So I'm on three Gaia planets. But we know this turn's going to be a Gaia, Gaia explosion. Uh, and they get all their buildings minus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buildings minus one. So they have eleven. Um, different things. So they're winning that by quite a quite a margin right now. But I'm hoping to build at least one more. And I mean, it'll probably have quite a few structures in. I might even try to build a second one. I mean, I got plenty of these to throw away to build satellites, right? So I just need to have enough levels of buildings, the key here. But first things first. I said I was gonna do it. I'm doing it. Two, three, five, okay, yeah. I'm gonna build on this planet. So that does cost me a QIC, spending the QIC, and wait a minute. How did I build here last turn? What was I thinking? Hold on. <laughs> I would have had to discard my QIC, so hold on. I don't have a QIC for that to increase my range. Let's just pretend I did that. Um, yeah, because my range is only two and then plus three. So I would have had to spend this QIC last turn to be able to put this Gaia Former on this planet. I don't know, again, why I thought I was red. Did I have the range extender last turn? No. I don't know. I don't know why I thought I could reach that planet. <laughs> anyway, I have to spend a QIC. So I don't have a QIC to spend right now. So let's go ahead and I'll just spend two and one, one, two, and one, yeah, to build on, let's build on the closer one, this one here. So I get my Gaia Former back. 
I get this on here. Boom, done. Uh, that puts me one more up on this track just to keep track. All right, let's do the AI's turn. Sorry, I'm losing it a little, people. I'm losing it. One from the right, so they go up one on this track. Boom, 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 they go up one, and zero victory points. All right, so back to my turn. I am going to, well, let's just, oh, I didn't get my victory points. So three plus four for this round scoring is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is an important thing to do. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what it looks like to get seven victor points. I'm doing that because I am building on my other guy, a former location from last turn. Seems good. Now I need a QIC to get seven victory points again from doing it. So can I build a federation? That's the question. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can build a federation, which will give me a QIC. Um, and you'll see in a minute, that's this one. Now I could get 12 victory points, but it's way better to get the QIC and get victory points that way. Is there any other way for me to get QIC here for science. That ain't going to happen anytime soon. Well, we'll see what they do. Um, but that is my turn. And I'm done. And I'm done. All right. So they are going to upgrade. Now, they can't upgrade to this thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did they really upgrade twice to get to the academy? Okay. Maybe I screwed up. Maybe I that was supposed to be a research station. I feel like that's supposed to be a research station, but too hard for me to go back now because they have to go. Remember, when you upgrade, you have to go from trading post to research lab, then to academy. I feel like they didn't, I feel like they skipped some steps there. <laughs> one step, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's give them their one victory point, and then they are going to upgrade top left to bottom right closest to me closest to me is here on top right okay so they do that they get this back that's the unfortunate part because if they had upgraded from a research to an academy then that would have uh, saved me another turn but maybe it already happened now that is within two of my research lab I think it's going to be worth the victory point to get those two powers cycled Maybe I'm crazy. I'm gonna try to get rid of some of this so I can cycle power easier. How much do I need for QIC? I can't even get QIC for power over here. If I get this, so if I upgrade, I can get some QIC. Actually, if I upgrade to this, I could get two QIC, but that's six and six. That's That seems awful expensive. That seems a little bit... Let's, let's not go shopping for new cars when I, I don't even have enough for a uh, rental right now. Um, all right, so the AI did their turn. I got my power. I could form a federation, but you know what I think I wanna do? I think I wanna do this first. So three and two, or you know what? I'm gonna downgrade first. You know what? We're, we're gonna keep this research lab thing going on. Oh, this mine is over here. I knew I had a mine earlier. We're gonna downgrade this. On, uh, was it Terra Alpha? I think I called it, uh, no, 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 Gaia Alpha. So we're gonna downgrade that again, which lets me bump up on one of the tracks. So again, this would get me six victory points at the end, potentially. This lets me reach further I don't know if it's gonna matter, it's really not. So we'll do this, this will let me Gaia form for three, but this will let me grab this. There's no way I'm gonna get six different planet types. Um, so that was a downgrade action, that was that, so that counts as my action. Boom, 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 their turn. All right, so they're gonna build again, because why wouldn't they? They're gonna build, um, looking at the top goal, so they're going for Gaia planets again within four. Gaia within four. I don't think they, oh no, dogs, they do have it. Son of a gun. That puts them up one on this track, which I did not want to see. 
man, now I got to get that QIC. I got to get that point. And I really wanted to get two. But clearly that's not going to happen. All right. So I got to get a federation. But in order to do that, I need to upgrade. Do I spend five and three to get the research? Which gets me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. So I'm going to spend five and three. to upgrade Gaia Alpha again. <laughs> uh, wait, do I have seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Wait a minute. I might not be able to do that. It's actually more important for me. Oh, no, no, no. This was there. It's more important for me to upgrade one of these buildings so I can make a um, so I can make a another federation. Well, is it more important? That'll get me my cube two. More science doesn't necessarily help unless I'm getting the victory point one. You know what? I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm not going to worry about downgrading this. I am going to upgrade to one of these. So that costs me two and hopefully only three. There's got to be a place. Yeah, here we go. I am close to them there. I'm actually close to them here too. Um, which one is more likely? This one's more likely to get me something in the future. So we will upgrade it. So two and three for the upgrade. So... Upgrading doesn't score me any points, but one, two, three, one, two. And now I'm almost ready to form a federation. <laughs> one of these days. Uh, oh, when they built here, that was not, I hadn't built, had I built this? I had. So that would have gotten me one power cycle because I was here for sure. I was so upset that they did it, but I forgot to um, get the power. I think I gave them the victory point. Let's see. Now they're, they're doing their AI action. Uh, they do have one of these to upgrade to. So we're going to say one and one, two, three. That lets them upgrade. They're going to do bottom to top. They don't care about any of the, well, this one, they wouldn't care about any of the goals anyway. Bottom to top. Well, we know what the bottom one is. So I just upgraded that building, thankfully for me. So for one victory point, I can cycle two science. I know what you're saying. You're never going to use all this science and you're kind of right, but you're kind of wrong. I'm going to see for three, what can I get? Just two more, which is not useful. I'm one away. Hmm. I get a guy you keep from going up here. Let me do that. All right. So I'm going to spend one two three four to bump up one here actually if i get this science and that gets me a, a qic cube qic qic all right i need one more science now i need a lot of things i need them to give me some science is really what i need all right, they're going to go up on their highest track. That puts them at the top of one of these tracks. There we go. All right, they're at the top. If I can get another bump up, man, that would be good. That would definitely be useful. I probably should have done that earlier when I had random choices of what to upgrade. But basically, I need to find a way to get one more uh, science so I can go up on that track. Um... Well, now I have my QIC, I can build on this Gaia planet. So let's do that. So that cost me one QIC, two on here, one on here. And we will put this over here. And that's another one, two, three, four, five. I think that's it for six. And they have one, two, three, four, five. Is that true? Is that true? I feel like it's true only because I want it to be true. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I have one, two, three, four. Wait, so that's three, 
four, five, <coughs> six. Yep. All right. <coughs> that is sweet. All right. So I have upgraded. Where am I going next? Uh, I haven't done anything. Oh, no, I did. I just built on this planet. Which gets me seven victory points. Oh, my gosh. Don't forget that. Up to 61. Boom. I'm getting there. It's getting tight. It's getting tight in here. Do, 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 do. All right. For three. Uno, dos, trace. They are going to upgrade. So they're going to choose to upgrade to this. There's not really a choice. Um which building it is. So wherever they've got that, they're upgrading to this. Now that is within, oh, ho, 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 ho. that is sweet. So my highest level buildings here, the research lab, that's a level two. So for one victory point, I am gonna cycle two and that is exactly what I needed. I feel like, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like that's exactly what I needed. Cause now I can put one, two, three down here. And for three, I get, yes, 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 yes. All right, so one, two, three gone to cycle three to here. And with those four, I am going to buy one level of knowledge. And with that one level of knowledge, I'm gonna go up here, which not only cycles three power, but it also gives me two QIC cubes. Please and thank you. Now, there's not really any Gaia planets for me to build on, but, 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 I still feel like that's what I want. Because for two QIC cubes, I can get these victory points here, and maybe that's what I do on my next turn. All right, so back to them. They are going to flip a card, because that's what the AI does. They cannot upgrade anymore uh, to that. So they are going to upgrade to that. All right. So they get one victory point only for this. And they're going to upgrade closest to me and then bottom to top, right to left. All right. Closest to me is here. Is this? Yes. I mean, that's certainly bottom to. T oh, no. Closest to me, bottom to top is here. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, so for one victory point again, I can get two power. Let's do that. Now, wait a minute, how is that possible? I just spent four power on something, didn't I? Oh, and then I got two back from them. All right. So I can get rid of three to get three power again, but I'm gonna need satellites. I'm gonna need one, two, three oh hold on hold on i'm gonna need one two so it's two three four five six seven so i'm gonna need one two three four no three four because i can't connect it to this one so i'm gonna need four satellite wait one two three four i'm gonna need four satellites so i can't get rid of all this for three, what can I do over here though? Well, I could get two power, which doesn't seem to make any sense to get rid of three to, all right. Can I do anything useful over here with three? I just need ore. That does get me one ore. But then how? Then I could use the ore to get the thing back. So that doesn't make any sense. I have QIC cubes that I can use to get ore. We'll see, hopefully they give me some power um, and then I don't have to discard as much. So it is my turn. Well, wait a minute. Do I just build those things now? Is that what I do? Do I build my federation? I got the QIC, maybe I do the QIC. So what's this one? This'll let me re-get one of my federation bonuses, which would be two or which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. If I get to a third one, this would let me get a tech tile and move up a tech track. Um, you know what, for two QIC, I'm doing this. All right, so it's three victory points plus one per different type of planet I have. So let's start with the one, two, three, and then one for each different type of planet. Let's see how many different type of planets I have. I don't think it's many. <laughs> so I got one, two, three, and are all the rest Gaia? 
Yep, so four, because Gaia does count as a different type of planet, so four different types of planets. So that's four more victory points. I mean, seven victory points is not the worst thing in the world. Seven victory points and two ore would have been better if I could have figured out how to get a QIC. Oh, I did not spend this. There's no way that I still had four after doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. All right, so back to this their turn they're going to get two victory points one two then they're going to upgrade they're going to get one two three more all right so they're going to build closest to me again and bottom to top right to left so let's just go bottom to top that's not close to me wow this may be a closest to me situation uh so that is one two three four away two away so two definitely looks like the one it's going to be this one's more than two uh this one's three yep so it'll be this one which is only two away now unfortunately that is only a level one building that i have within two of them so what that means for me is i only get to cycle one power but hey it's something not nothing uh i'm still trying to figure out how to make all of this work <laughs> Um, I may just have to form my federation now in doing so I could get another one of these which would give me ore or I can just get me five more victory points what's the benefit of having more ore three four five six seven now didn't I upgrade a mine intentionally because I didn't think I was gonna have enough to build this wait a minute I upgraded one. Why did I upgrade this one? What? So now I need more things because I, I don't have enough up here. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? And that changed a lot of stuff because I might not have had the science I needed to get my tech upgrades. So now I need, so because this is only one, two, three, four, five, six up here. So I need to build this. And I no longer have the QIC to do it. So I need to get an ore with three science. All right, I'm gonna have to figure this out. This is gonna be bad, potentially. So there's two, so there's three science, which gets me an ore. I was an idiot. Stimpy, you idiot. Oh, I need way more. I need two ore. How am I gonna get a second ore? Well, hold on. Let's get those two back. <laughs> To get those two back. I'm not getting that ore. What the? What the what? What was I thinking? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I got one, two, three, four satellites, five satellites, six satellites. So I need all of this to make the satellites. This one won't be in it. Man, I was not thinking there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I can do it. So let's spend one power to get one gold. Why? For no apparent reason. Because I'm gonna need to spend one, two, three, four, five, six to build six satellites to build my federation. Do 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 do. Where is my cubes? Oh, this giant thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So one two three four five six and now i got one two three four five six seven points in my buildings so that does make a federation do i get the two if i do then i can build this and that'll be my federation too so let's see how many planets i have in federations now i got one two three four five six plus what i had before so three plus six is nine. I can get one more if I build here, which will let me split with the AI, which or not AI, the like dummy player, which would be difference between six and 12. So that's three victory points different. What I, can I do anything else with my ore? Can I do anything else with my ore? Let's see, I can definitely build here again, which ties me with them. Um, I don't got a free up. Oh, I do have a free terraforming step. 
which means I could build here, which would be another one, which will let me tie for first place. Yep, all right. So when I build my federation, I'm getting seven victory points and two or again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two or. Wow, all right, I got some stuff going on. All right, AI, just bow out. I don't think I gave you your two victory points though, AI. Did I give you your three? I'm pretty sure I gave you your three. I'm 99% sure I gave you your three. I don't think I gave you your two. That's an X, that means AI is done. All right, so they're gonna toss this back. They're gonna get something, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and let's score them for this round. Well, they get two points for this. And the AI is done. 93 does not seem like a bad mark to be able to get to, especially with me getting some end game points coming up here. All right, so it's just me, me, me for the rest of the time. All right, I am going to, and I do have enough minds to do it too. All right, so for one and two, I'm gonna build on my own planet type, which gets me to 10 here. And then, I'm going to use this thingy over here to let me terraform one step. This brown planet is one step away. So I'm going to spend one and two again to build right here. And those two become part of this federation just by default. So with that being said, I am now up to 11 structures in federations which ties me for the lead. Can I do anything else? I got four gold, not a whole lot going on. I got zero power in my power poles, but this is how you want to end, right? Like if you can end a game with no power in your power poles, with four gold, like that feels like how you want to end the game. So let's go to end game scoring. Um, for this, I'm gonna have to pull out my regular rules book because I don't think it's in any of these. Let's see. Well, it has the AI's end game scoring, I think, here. Is that right? No, no, it doesn't. Upgrade, build mine, QIC actions. All right, well, let's just look at end game scoring. I know it's somewhere over here. Ah, it's on the Automa thing here. When determining rank for final scoring, remember to take the neutral player into account. See the basic rules gamebook, Automa VP research the way that a human player does. It scores VPs like a human player with the following exceptions. For, oh, 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 oh. Now I do trade this in, would I have gotten anything? No, I wouldn't have gotten anything. All right, so let's go ahead and actually the scoring is all over here. So we'll do first place in the tracks. I get 18 points for this track. AI is in second place. The blue is like the dummy player. So 18, dummy gets 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so that's 91, which I knew. Dummy player gets 12. So 105. Um, so. Second one here, we are gonna tie on this. So we get the uh, those added up. So that would add up to 30 divided by two. So we both get 15. So I go from 91 to 106, which already beats my score from last game. Uh, they go to 120. I think they're still got me. Let's see. Even with all this scoring, I think they still got me. Come on, AI. All right, so now four for each point you're up on this, and then for each three resources, you get one. Well, let's look at my resources. I only have uh, four resources here anyway, so that's just one victory point. And for each track we go up, we get four victory points per track that we are above this line. So they get one, two, three spots above. So their three times four is 12. And you guys might have already figured out what I got, but I haven't. Even if it's more than them, I don't think it's enough more than them. So I got one, two, three, four spots above. So four spots above times four is 16. Boom, 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 
boom, boom, boom. Bum, 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 Man, 123 to 132. As you can see, I've lost again. The AI has outdueled me again. I think it's because I keep getting like my level four on turn one. I think I got to stay down here with the other resources longer. Um, I don't know. I mean, but that's one reason I love this game. It's so fun. Every time you play, it is so fun. Yes, you might forget a point here or there, but who cares? Like, it doesn't matter. Um, the game is just fun. And look, I improved my score from 102 last time to 123 this time. I'm sure if and when I do this again, I'm going to improve my score again. So for me, that's what makes this game great. Every faction feels different to play. Every AI is going to feel different to play against. I'm still on the basic AI. There are ways to make it easier, right? If I am not happy with my scores, I can remove card two to make it easier. Or if we want to make it harder, we can add card nine or add card nine and 15. Again, the more cards that they have, the more turns that they're going to have. So because of that, we remove cards at the beginning of the game, it's gonna remove, it's gonna change the difficulty. So I love how you can change difficulty scaling, either by changing the AI you're playing against. The next time I'm shuffling it up, I'm doing a random one. I'm done playing this AI. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna play a different one next time, but I love you're building something here, you're researching over here, you're like doing different mini goals every turn. Ah, oh, this game is just fantastic. If you haven't played Gaia Project, play it awesome multiplayer as well uh, i mean it's just as good uh, maybe just as good it's real close solo it's real close but i have so much fun every time i play it so thanks for joining me again um i guess it was about two hours and so if you're playing by yourself probably an hour and a half um i, I will say the stream adds at least 30 minutes between me talking to people between me thinking out loud so it, it does add time every time you're streaming so don't take this 100 percent into account but gabe p thank you so much for all your interaction today totally appreciate it i hadn't seen you before so a, a new viewer um and had a lot of fun and for all you out there please go project some Gaia's Gaia some projects I don't know go terraform some planets anyway great seeing you and we will talk to you soon bye